Hi everyone, so I've been staying here at the Cambridge um, Cottages, I think it's called Cambridge Cottages, yeah, and um, yeah, I just wanted to give a really quick review, it's going to be really short because I've only stayed here for one night. So the reason I chose to come here is because I saw it on, I think it was either on Airbnb or on, it was on booking.com actually, so they're the two sites that I normally use, so what I do is I will go onto those sites, I will have a look at the properties that are available. Sometimes I'll put a specific area in, sometimes it's a location I've never been to before. Other times I'll see what's recommended. Um, and then other times I will just browse and see. So what I liked about this place is I liked the location because it is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and sometimes um, it varies. Sometimes I'll go away somewhere and it will be where there's more people and lots to do. Other times it will be just for relaxation. This is a break that I've been looking forward to for a few months because I just wanted a getaway and to do absolutely nothing. Um, the other thing about it was the decor. You can see from behind me that there's, it's just nice, it's rural, it's definitely a cottage, you've got your log burner there, you've got, um, it's just got a homely feel, If you, the ceilings are just, it's just nice, it's my kind of place. I would, I would live here if it was in the city. <laughs> This is the type of house I would live in. I am a city girl, I can't pretend, but I love coming to the countryside for little breaks. Um, the other thing what's nice about it is the little touches that they've left. I mean, they've left bread, um, jam, milk, butter. I've brought all that stuff with me. I've brought bread with me. I've brought butter with me. You know, um, I've bought, I didn't bring milk. But yeah, it's nice to just have the little things, little touches. I've noticed when I go away to lots of these places, they do at least give you the basics. There's also like a little mini bar with gin, tonic, um, uh, what's it got, sweets, peanuts, and it's just an honesty thing where it says you can eat something and then put what you think it's worth. I've not got cash on me, but um, it said you can also pay by card. I don't think I'm going to be drinking just tonight, um, but it's nice. It's a nice little touch. The other parts are just, it's got a hot tub. Now, I didn't bring my swimming costume and also it's too cold. I went outside earlier. It's freezing. In the summer, though, having that little space where you've got the privacy to go in the hot tub. There's also an outdoor area, um, same, it's cold, so I'm not going out there, but it's just the fact that you've got that. The bedroom is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's just one of the nicest bedrooms I've seen. And then the bathroom, you've got a nice little bath in there. It's just, it feels like a home away from home. It feels like if you stayed here for a week, you wouldn't be, you'd, I mean, you'd have to get go out and about because I don't think you could just sit in here for a week. Um, but you, you'd feel homely, it feels comfortable. And that's just, you know, I haven't been here that long, um, but yeah, it just feels comfortable. So yeah, I would recommend it and I would recommend everyone to just take short breaks. I book my breaks three to four months in advance. So I pay the deposit or I pay it off in full. And then I've got something then to look forward to because I know that if I hadn't have booked this and the time was coming up, I probably would have ended up cancelling or just not booking because I wouldn't have had the space. When you pay the deposit or you book something and you're paying full, it means the chances are you're going to go to it. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it here. I would recommend it. I would come back. I'd give it. The only thing, is anything missing? Nothing's missing. Um, at this point, I can't think of anything that's missing. It's got everything. It's got all the, oh, there's no microwave. But do you know what? I bought a microwave meal because I thought there'd be a microwave. There isn't. But do you know what? I bought other food anyway. So I can cook. I mean, I'm going to have to have like toast and little things. It's only one night. I've got breakfast stuff. But yeah. I would have probably preferred a microwave because I specifically bought um, a ready meal because when I come away sometimes I don't really cook. Um, if there's like meals on a restaurant on the premises then that's different. But yeah that's the only thing and also I could have bought something for the oven but I was thinking yeah I could have bought the pizza. I had pizza at home I could have bought that but I bought a ready meal can't use it. So yeah maybe if I'd known about that in advance that's it, but I think I'd give it five out of five because there's, there's parking. You don't have to pay for parking, so that's tick. They give you a few little freebies, so that's a little tick as well. It's comfortable, tick. It's got a bath, it's got a hot tub, it's got a shower, it's got a beautifully decorated bedroom, so tick. All the decor's nice, tick. Mini bar, tick. <laughs> I can't, there's an outside area. I can't give you any take any marks off because it's got everything that I would want so that's my review of Cambridge Cottages first time in Cambridge I will be back as well the route was simple to get to so yeah you know go on a little short break you've got nothing to lose thanks for watching